ready? Hello. Good Hi. afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, where are you headed? Oh, I'm going to New Heaven. New Heaven? Yeah. Okay, um, do you mind if I drop you? Um, that's my route. Okay, thank you. Alright, hop in. Alright. So sorry. Thank you. <laughs> a beautiful girl like you on the song. Oh, you can imagine <laughs> the sun is too much. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. I'm just uh... <laughs> thank you. You're such a nice person. Yeah, I should be nice to a beautiful lady like you. So, um, what's your name? My name is Juliet. Juliet. I am Frank. Oh. Where are you from? I'm from the States. Oh, wow. In the States. Oh. What part? I'm from Nume. Where is Nume? Nkano East. Oh, Nkano East. Oh. Are you still in school? No, I just rendered off my youth service two weeks ago. That's interesting. So, um, where did you serve? Kogi State. Kogi State. Okay, if you don't mind, let me have your contact. Maybe we get to talk. Hmm? Okay. Zero eight one. Zero nine. Three zero. Nine nine. Eight eight. Um, I'll give you a call. All right. Okay. Thanks once more. You I have a lovely it. day. I need to. Thank you. Right, bye. Right. My dad was an ex-police officer, but he's late now. Uh, my mom runs a business with just this number, and I occupy the last position. Mom, this girl. I yeah, see. yeah. <laughs> you can say that again. I see. <laughs> well, I accept my sympathy for your father's death. It's okay. At least I've gotten over it. Good to know. Um, for me, we are just two. I am my younger sister. Uh, my dad is dead also, but my mom is still alive. So sorry about that. It's okay. Um, would it be a bad idea if I would want to visit your home? Like, come know your people? <laughs> you don't have any problem with that. You are always welcome to my home. Okay. Um, what do I get you to drink? Uh, anything. Anything soft to do. Okay. Alright. Oops. This place is beautiful. Ah. Who's 
Oh, my sweet mother. You are looking very fresh. Oh. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> you are looking too good. I must follow you to that city. <laughs> it is west of mine. I am settled. Ah, Mama, where is mine? Ah, where to get? Oh, where? <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing back here? <laughs> We're busy. Mama. <laughs> My son, I'd wanted to invite you, but thank God you came back. You have mourned your wife enough. When are you bringing someone to see me? Mama, don't bother yourself. Uh -huh. I shall bring her shortly. Good. Get her Where is she from? This state. Uh -huh. um, Kano East. No man to be precise. Ah. No man. Yes. They are women. Eh? They are women are submissive. Even my friend's eh, son married from there. Oh, really? That settles it. <laughs> that that, that settles it. it. <laughs> you will never inform me before coming. Oh, I should write a letter before coming to see my hey, At least call me so that I will prepare something. Mama, I know you have enough. I have enough. Anything the surprise I will have. give you, see, eat whatever I give to you. I will. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. Be quiet, mother. I hope she's beautiful. Ah, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will he bring somebody that is not beautiful? Eh? Hey. Uh -huh. mm. oh. Baby, go ahead and enjoy, baby. You told me about your mom the other time, how is she? Well, um, she's fine. <laughs> now listen, baby. Yeah? I am making plans to come in the next two weeks with my people to see your people for introduction. <laughs> Say it again. Yes. Say it again. I am coming two weeks time with my people to come and see your people for no. introduction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you like it, baby. I love it. I know you will. I know you will. This is the best news, the, the joyous news ever. Because I cannot wait to be called Mrs. Oh, yeah. Ah, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> That's it, baby. I am happy to inform you that I have found another wife for myself. Really? Yes. You need to see this girl. She is very pretty. Extremely pretty. In fact, her beauty radiates like the morning sun. Whoa. I know. She is flamboyantly beautiful. Flamboyantly beautiful. Then she must be Mami Water. Mami Water, you say? Who is Mami Water? She is far more prettier than that. <laughs> In that case, I need to see her. Yeah, <laughs> fear one. Ubelo go get out of the fear. My Juliet. Oh my goodness. My daughter, Mama. you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. You're really beautiful. You have eyes for good things. I know you like her. Ah. I told you. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Mama. Mm. My son told me you're from uh, Nome. Yes, Mama, I'm from there. Uh -huh. Nome people, they make good wives. Eh? You're welcome to my family. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you for appreciating me. And my family also appreciates your family too. Hey, you're welcome. My son told me he was going to bring you so a warm marker. Prepare a special dish for you. Mama, I can't wait to eat your food. Not for you. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know my mother. But next Come, time, you need one to cook for me. <laughs> of course. Hey, now I'll take your daughter. Now I get can name. Take your daughter. Hey, hey. Mommy for Rosa. I told you. Hey, Rosa. piece of meat for dinner for a man that works hard like me Juliet Juliet yes I'm coming oh what is you this what is this what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? You sent me the man of the house with a miserable piece of meat. Are you stupid? Are you, are you, are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you, are you, are you, you are an idiot! You are an idiot! You are you! Do you help me to work for the money? Something is bothering me. You know, when people see you now, they will no longer ask, who is your mother or whose daughter are you? Rather, they will ask, ah, who is your husband? Who are you married to? Mama, where exactly are you driving at? I am driving at the point that you are not getting any younger. It's giving me concern. Well, Mama Henry has promised to come and see you shortly. That's Sam Henry again. How are you even sure Henry is serious? I know men. Once they get that thing in between your legs, you have become chaff to them. Well, Mama Henry is not like that. That is what, what, what we usually say when they fill our head with that fake news of love. Everything they do is right. You, you seem to know them. I am only telling you as your mother. Mama, I've heard. Can I go back to what I was doing? I've said, my own. You can go back. My law. Huh? So your face is like this. Huh? How is everybody at home? Jane, I've come to see you in connection of my daughter. As I'm talking with you now, my daughter is in great pains. 
because of how your son beat her. My son? My son did what? My own son? Yes. Your son beat her up. When I asked my daughter what was the problem, she said she sat him with the only piece of meat in this in the pot. She tried to explain to your son, but he wouldn't understand and beat her up. a thing like that. He has no reason whatsoever to lay hand on his wife. I did not raise him to be like this. I beg you, I will handle it my own way. Please. You better do. Try and warn your son. Then warn your son. For a man to lay his hand on a woman, it is, is wrong. wrong. It is wrong. Do Please warn wrong. him. I will. Warn him. Talk to him. He will get you wrong. Please. I will. raise you to be like this. your wife because of meat. How could you? Mama, Juliet has no respect. Juliet has no regard for I, the husband. I mean, how can she serve me food without enough meat? Have you not eaten enough meat? What do you think people will say when they hear that you beat up your wife because of meat? This is ridiculous. Are you okay? Who are the people? I should be the one considering how I feel and how I Will feel. Will you shut up? Shut up! Because you don't know what you're saying. I did not raise you to be this man. You think beating up your wife will make you a hero? Beating up your wife will make me to respect you? No! It will make you a lesser man. You disappoint me because I didn't raise you to be this man. You are not a beast. Nonsense. You better go and apologize to that girl. As we come and go wrong. Rubbish. Excuse me, Sandra. Sandra, who on earth are you? Who are you, Sandra? I don't understand where that question is coming from. I am your fiancé. Who else should I be? Sandra, I had a terrible dream last night. I almost died. Sandra, I almost died last night. Oh my God, are you okay? Excuse me, do not touch me, Sandra. Please. What's all this, Jerry? What's all this? Why, 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 why do you come up here with this strange behavior? 
Have I wronged you? What is the problem? Sandra, I had a terrible nightmare two nights ago. And some strange man wanted me to stay clear from you to leave you alone as I feel my own blood. I see that wasn't enough. Just yesterday morning, after you called me, and an invisible hand appeared and gave me a dirty slap of my life. <laughs> She's laughing about it. Okay, you're laughing at me, Sandra. Jerry. Oh, my goodness. Why do you come up here with this kind of strange story? And why are you acting up? Why are you acting this melodrama? You know he doesn't suit you. What is wrong with you? No, no, no. Sandra, you call this drama? Of course it's a drama. Why are you acting all worked up? You just came in here and you started ranting about a man calling you in your dream and slapping you at invisible hand and all. I don't understand you. Now listen to me, Sandra. You have a very bad spiritual husband. God forbid! I reject it in the name of Jesus. It's not my passion. I don't have any spiritual husband. What kind of insult is this, Jerry? Sandra, listen to me. You might have a spiritual husband without you knowing of it. And I told you I don't have any spiritual husband. And I put it to you that you do know. No, I don't then know. Then you do, Sandra. No, you can't impose it on me, You Jerry. know what, Sandra? Now look at my face. How do you explain this, Sandra? I don't know how to explain it except the fact that you had a dream. It's just a dream. What about the invisible hand that appeared and slammed the fuck out of me, how Sandra? How do we explain this? No, you tell me. Tell me, Sandra. Tell me. Because I'm sick and tired of all this. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Enough is enough. I'm over with this whole thing. Jerry. Sandra, I'm not interested. Go get yourself another man, okay? I do not want to die. Jerry. Excuse me, Sandra. Jerry, hold on. Please, hold on. Listen to me. Sandra, I am listen not to ready me, to listen to anything. Please, listen to me, please. Jerry, look at me. If I've done anything wrong, just tell me. You know me, I will apologize. But don't do this. We've come a long way. Let, let's go inside and iron it. We can talk it over. Let me understand you and dilute this whole, this whole drama. Please. Excuse me, Sandra. Sandra, listen to me. I do not want to be killed by that spiritual husband of yours. He warned me clearly to stay clear from you. As a matter of fact, to keep a distance from you. Excuse me, Sandra. I do not want to die. I'm the only son. Excuse me. I do not want to see you anywhere close to me ever again. Jerry. Jerry, please. 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 Excuse me, Sandra, before I do something stupid. What are you saying? Oh, shit, she's trying to... son killed your daughter. Exactly. And he must pay dearly for it. Frank, you pay dearly for it. Before he killed my daughter, I came and I warned you. I warned you. You said you are going to do something about it. Look at this, she's dead now. My daughter is dead. He's dead. You wish you come and carry her. Come and carry my daughter. Mama, I'm so disappointed in you. How could you? How could you allege that I killed my own lovely wife? My wife! Frank. Why would I do that? Frank, my sister had no record that Emmet before her demise. 
How come she died like that? And you are here talking trash. My people, I advise you go seek for what killed your sister mm. than to stay here and accuse my son wrongfully. Woman, you are talking rubbish. Hey, hey, hey. You are the one talking rubbish. How dare you talk to my mother like that? Hey, Mechanuge! Who is this cockroach? If I lay my hands on you, I shall break you into pieces. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Why you mechanic? Torture! Mechanic banjaba! Torture! Jude! What will happen to you? Torture! I, Girls, I want bad. all of you out of my compound now! Frank, are you ordering us out of your house? After killing my daughter? I thought that I did me Frank. I don't care. I don't care what you or anyone thinks now, this moment, get out of my compound. What did you just say? Eh? After you did your to discuss. Can that discussion wait until a little later? See, I'm very busy. Uh, I know you're busy, but uh, it's, it's, it's a very serious issue and we need to trash it now. Please. All right. What is the discussion about? It's about our daughter, Sandra. What happened to her? I don't know what is happening to her. I came in yesterday and I met her crying. I asked her what the problem is. She said uh, her fiance Jerry called it off. He called that, 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 that there's no more marriage between the both of them. Why? I, I don't know. Eh? She said, uh, uh, Jerry told her there's this strange man that always appeared to him in the dream, warning him to stay away from, from her, Sandra. Eh? Suddenly, uh, an invisible hand appeared and slapped him in his dream. Jerry sees a strange man in the dream. Uh, I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm, I don't and understand. An invisible hand slapped him. Yes. <laughs> mm. Okay, so Jerry thought that is the best way to push my daughter away after enjoying her. Now, I don't think it's a cooked story. Oh. Eh? Oh, oh, come to think of it, didn't you remember that Emeka ran mad just one week before the, his marriage to Sandra? Eh? And Chidi came. Suddenly, Chidi developed a cold feet towards my daughter. And now Jerry is telling us stories that we don't understand. I, I, I don't know. I'm getting confused. I think you have a point here. I don't really understand what is going on with our daughter. Something must be done. I don't know where, where these chains of misfortunes are coming from. I, I don't I don't understand anymore. It's okay. I think I know what to do. Where is our daughter? Sandra is inside. It's alright. Sandra. How could you do this to yourself? You want to starve yourself to death because Jerry announced that it was over between the two of you. Are you the only one to face such a situation? Sandra. 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 Sandra.
to her. I have begged you as much as I could, not to despair because of Jerry, but you have refused to listen to me. Eh? You have refused to listen to me, oh, Sandra. Sandra. Eh? Nenu, do you want me dead? If anything should happen to you now, how do you think I will survive it? Am I going to survive it, Sandra? Because yeah, no, Mel no, Mel no. Sandra, have mercy on me. Because no, eh? Rose, what are those tears doing in your eyes? Look, if she wants to kill herself because of a man, I will provide a casket with which she will be buried. God forbid, my daughter will not die. Nem, please, forget about that man. Let him go. I know my God will bring another man that will marry you. Because no man, because I don't know. Eh, please, come and eat your food. It's getting cold. Oh, please. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to eat food. I don't want to drink. Mom, I'm unhappy. This is the third time a man is seeking for my hand in marriage and ended up disappointing me. What reason do I have to eat? I just want to be left alone. Let me mourn. Please, please, my daughter, you end up wanting yourself. Eh? Please. You just have to take it easy on yourself. You want yourself. Hold yourself, Sandra, please. Oh, no. Like this to my daughter. Eh? How could you bring her to the middle of nowhere and abandon her? And you claim that someone came to you in the dream and told you to leave my daughter after you have exposed her to the world. Look, Jerry, or whatever you call yourself. The law of retributive justice will soon catch up on you. Yes. It will soon come knocking on your door. Mark my words. You cannot just toy with my daughter like that and get away with it. Don't worry. My goodness, thank God you're finally home. Huh. Mm. Oh my God, mm. How could you have done that? Because I didn't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> embarrassed? Ha! But you're very funny. Huh? You're very, very funny. See, I'm very, very tired. I know. Please just help me get water. Let me drink. Honey, did you say water? Yeah. No. I'm very tired. Can't do that. Please, just go and get it yourself, please. I'm very tired. Okay, let me help you. What is it? Ah! Oh. 
happened? What happened to you? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Three women in two and a half years. Don't you think something is wrong somewhere? I don't know, Mama. All this seemed like a dream to me. But it's happening real. Not up to a year I lost Jennifer. Now, my newly married wife. What is happening? What, what is going on? What is going on? What is going Please, on? Samson, you have to pull yourself together. I understand how you feel. Oh, my life is not fair to me. How about your family? Who, who, who did I wrong? What did I do wrong? Where did I go mm -hmm. wrong? Please. Stop. You have not offended anyone. God knows it all. I am a mother. I will put my eyes to the ground to find out why all these things are happening. Because it is not ordinary. I will do what I have to do as a mother. Just pull yourself together. is actually happening. What is going on? Last year, I lost Juliet. Her people accused me of killing her and I was sent to prison and I spent two and a half years. My son, the whole thing is confusing. I know my enemies are not resting, but I will always win. But Mama, the pastor said that Bro, Amubi will not experience this turmoil again after offering some prayers. What happened? Should I say that the pastor is not real? Oh yes, 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 yes. You have it. He is not. Because if he is, how will he prophesy that nothing will happen to love it? And she died three weeks after he said it. How? Will two of you shut up? My pastor has been doing great work and he's still doing it. Really? Yes. So, Mama, what happened now? Has his power suddenly disappeared? <laughs> two of you should take a look at that, Juliet, and love it. They look like a banjo now. Looking at them, they look as if you will know. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. I don't even know which one to believe again. Mm -hmm. Believe me. And what is happening? What is wrong? I've never seen something like this before. I'm be someone has vowed to deal with you. You're right, Obi. But who? Who would want me single? Who would be doing this evil to me? At least that person should respect procreation. The world is sugar-coated. But within, we have pains. We have thorns. Rebirth and death. My son, 
Do you know how long you have not visited me? Mama, just two weeks. Huh? Yes. You have excommunicated yourself from me. No phone calls. You don't even care to know how I am doing. Mama, what do you think would have been taking my time if not work? It's work. Work? What type of work? Eh? That will make you not to have time for your mother. Mama, I don't even have time for myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Better. How is Noe? She's fine. She's even the reason I came to see you. Okay. The fiancé, they will be coming next week. I've already told your uncle. Hmm. You did well. <laughs> okay, um, for that, I will try and make out time to come to the house. So. You make right. out time. <laughs> okay, Just I, will, I will come. Uh, better, make <laughs> out time. <laughs> Don't try me. Mama, I will come. Um, what will you do? Me. Allow me, I'll go to the fridge, search the fridge, choose whatever I want to drink. Okay. If it's one that will get me drunk, hey, take me to my room. Mama, go. It's your house. Go, please, please, please. <laughs> Ah, I miss you, I miss you, mommy. So, I hope you have a feeling well. I'm trying. You're not trying. Watch that dog. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you. My mother was here yesterday. Do you know why she came? No that I should get a woman to marry. Uh, so soon? You just lost your wife. Uh, is she a stranger? She knows that I am still mourning my wife. But all she cares about is grandchildren, grandchildren. Want grandchildren. I'm hoping you don't have to blame her. Why? <laughs> Every mother needs to carry her grandchildren. If I tell you what I have passed through, in the hands of my parents, especially my mother. <laughs> you bust your laughing gas. What? I should get a wife, of course. She even vowed to impose a wife on me. Huh? <laughs> Mothers. Mothers and grandchildren. The market. It was fine, oh, very fine. Uh, how is Sandra? Is she back from work? Uh, yes. Uh, she's in there in her room sleeping. Okay. Guess who I saw today on my way back? Who? <laughs> is it not that one that called himself, uh, what is it called? Jerry. It was as if the earth should open and swallow him when he saw me. And then I asked him, why he told Sandra to go and look for another husband. He told me exactly the same story Sandra told me. So, all this why that idiot had been exposing our daughter, that man never appeared to him to warn him. It wasn't the same thing I asked him. I asked him the same question and he was looking at me. He didn't have anything to say to me. That idiot is a betrayer. He's a big betrayer. That is what he is. Stupid man. Because, because he has... No problem.
I went to Cape Town for some time now. Hey, you travel? Yes. Welcome. Thank welcome. you, ma. Thank you. How is your mother? Uh, she's fine. She went to Nehru to see her sister who just put to bed. She has put to bed? Oh, thank God. Uh, ma, how is Sandra? My dear, for the past years now, she's been facing a series of disappointments. Uh, the last one that recently happened, eh? It was Jerry that just developed cold feet and he walked out of the relationship. The other one was a, 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 a warm man like that, forgotten his name. He even ran mad a week to their wedding. All these things have been, it's, it's, it's a trauma. It's been disturbing Sandra. Hmm? I'm confused. I don't even know what to do again. She doesn't eat. She doesn't talk to anybody. She doesn't go out. She doesn't even want to see anybody. I'm tired. This is too bad. So she's been suffering all this thing for a long time now. She's just been there killing herself, crying and refused to eat food. Ma, it's okay. I will take you to our family prophet. Eh? Prophet? Yes. Ah, no. Uh, prophet. I don't think I will visit any prophet or pastor again. This prophet uh, and pastor, they've duped me three times on this particular issue. I don't want to go there again, no. I, I don't doubt that there is no uh, fake pastors or fake prophets. But you know, uh, we still have some genuine prophets. Mm? It's, it's better you go there. It, it will sort out our problem. Okay? Are you sure? Yes. You're very sure? He's a man of God, very powerful man of God. Are you sure of this particular I am prophet? This very, he's our family prophet. Yeah. He sees everything, even in the dark. Eh? Yeah. Yes. So you mean he can say something about our problems? Okay, that means I will give it a try. I will go with you. I will go. Okay? Um, say me well to your mother when she calls, eh? Don't worry. If you are ready to go, you come and call me, I will follow you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My friend. He's where? Who will I get to cut down? Hmm. Neka, my daughter. You saw you're in my house. I hope all is well. You're welcome. Sit. Welcome. Now. Thank you. I'm on the way going to evangelism by time. Just come out and saw you people. So, what brought you people to my house? So, um, she's my mother's friend. Uh, I brought her to come and see you. Wow. So, madam, what is the problem? Uh, Prophet, is about my daughter. She has been facing a series of problems lately. Misfortunes are befalling her. Yes, and uh, it's refusing her to settle down with a man. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we thank you because you are God. You are the mighty man in battle. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. Ma shaka libre ni managada. Nini mutu kushanda laba hiba hiba ya laika libusa yanda laba. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, as I was praying, the Lord revealed to me that the problem of your daughter lies in her hands. She has the answer to it. What could that be? Go and bring her. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Why do you seek for another husband when you already have one to marry you? Another husband? Man of God, please. I really don't understand what you're talking about. Because right now, as I speak with you, I don't even have a man in my life, let alone husband. It's actually the problem that brought me here. I know you'll be confused. 
Because the Bible says that a man cannot understand the things of the spirit because they are spiritual design. Who is Amobi? Amobi. I I don't I don't I don't think I've come across such name before. The time I was praying, the Lord revealed to me that during your secondary school days, that you had a boyfriend whose name was Amobi. Can you remember? Go ahead. Sandra. What are people doing here? Oh, this is what you people do. Amobi, see me in my office first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to report both of you to your parents. Now, leave. Bad eggs. Thank you. 
Amod, how could Mr. Ndoku give you this big portion of grass to cut? Do you defecate it on the father's grave? That man is very wicked. Though. Sandra, you better return to class now before Mr. Ndoku comes out here and see you. He will definitely punish you or he will increase mine. Please, I don't want trouble. Amod, I'm not afraid of that man. Let him come. Who cares? I told you. I told you, Sandra. I told you that you will come. I told you. Now the trouble is here. Amobi, this is not Capel level. I said you should call the class. Capel level. Okay, sir. And you, what are you doing here? Nothing. Before I blink my eyes twice, disappear from here and reappear in your class, or I shall get your entire body on fire. Amobi, why is that both of you are, are always together? It's not in, sir. I am back to work. Back to work. And remember, carpet level. What did I say? Carpet level, sir. Good. Everything is no, 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 no. Just to greet you. Okay, that's very thoughtful of you. How? Oh, oh. yeah. 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 Why is your thing like this? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Lucy. Um. Sandra. Hey! Go there. Put yourself this to yourself. What are you doing with my boyfriend? I wasn't doing anything. I just helped arrange the shades. Sandra, that's all. It's not all. Stay away from my boyfriend. All. Sandra, you, hey, hey, hey. Sandra, I don't want to please hear. calm down. You, Sandra, hey, calm down. Lucy, what is wrong with that girl? Hmm. Why does she make trouble telling girl I can't go to some movies? Amanda, you see that girl? You see that girl that calls herself Sandra? She's a problem. Each night she sees any girl that comes to some movies, it's a problem. I'm telling you, whether it's jealousy or where, anything I don't know, just, any, just try it. Come close to her mob is a problem. She might even fight you. Please, let's go, Jerry. I don't know. And what is that supposed to mean? Is he your boyfriend? I want you to stay away from him. Look, there are many guys in this picture. I'm going to pick one and stop confusing him. What is that? Sandra, mm. you're the one who is confusing him here. Why should you keep finding out any girl you see come close to him? Are you crazy or something? Yes, I'm crazy. Yes! And what do you do? See, you should be ashamed of yourself, Sandra. I really think you both should stop this now. <laughs> what is this for? Amobi, is that what you have to say? 
See, Sandra, I'm really sorry, but there's nothing going on here. She was only asking why I'm not being in class since the past one week. As your guardian or counselor. See, Sandra, I think you are taking this too far. Please, please. Hey, I forgot you to touch me. I'm Obi. Allow her. Nonsense. Sissy, what did you just say now? You heard me right. Sandra, you just slapped me. What do you mean? I want us to go into blood covenant. Why? I'm, a, I'm afraid I will lose it to another girl. I'll, I'll be noticing how Lucy and trauma have been staring at you lately. The other day I saw how two end was holding your hand and I felt bad. <laughs> I'm a, I just told you my observations and all you could do was to break into laughter. See, Sandra, no other girl will take me away from you. I swear with my life. I don't know. So I don't think this is a good idea. We shouldn't even be discussing it. I insist. Well, if that's what will make you happy. Sandra, where do you get this color note from? I got it from my father's cupboard. He likes it in color note. So how do you go about it? Tell my father. Sorry. I eat this cola not. I shall not get married to any other woman except you. And if I do, let misfortune be my companion. And only death could separate us from each other. As I eat this cola not, I shall not marry any man except you. If I do, let misfortune be my companion. And only death can separate us. Sandra, where do you learn this from? I heard my mom talking to my father how a boy and a girl went into blood covenant with cola not not to leave each other. <laughs> really? Wow, I'll never leave you. Thank you. Sandra. Yes, ma'am. You see that Miss Mikeke's daughter? I don't like her character. Avoid her. You did hear what I said? Back. Yes, dear. Welcome, Dad. Thank you, my angel. Sandra, take this inside. Thank you. 
Honey, how was work today? It was fine. Just that my company did some posting today and it affected me. How? My dear, I've been posted to Enugu. That means all of us are going to Enugu. Yes. This federal work has taken us from the country. Today, Abuja. Tomorrow, Lagos. Next tomorrow, Delta. Ah, as well. My dear, you know in life every work has its own nature. I believe you, honey. Please be fast and famished. I will. Sandra, we'll be going to your neighbor. How could you use to have the mind? By suggesting I should let her stay with my sister and finish her secondary education. Listen, woman, I am not leaving my child under any person's care. Even if it is my mom. Honey, but she'll be coming to visit us during uh, the end of the times. Besides, she has only two times to run off. My friend, be reasonable for once. You are the one who's supposed to caution her from making such suggestion, and not me. And you're here telling me she'll be seeing us time to number. And as for you, I've already found a, another school for you at, at the end of the day. Nonsense. Listen, listen, this madness has to stop. You people should be careful with me in this house. I will not say anything. again. You'll be coming to visit your aunt during holidays. Listen to me, don't cry. Don't want you to cry. Please, it's okay. It's okay. Please, it's okay. Don't cry. Please. Sandra, I've been searching for you everywhere. Sandra, are you okay? I'm fine. Since when do we start lying to each other? Your facial expression and your mood is clearly showing that you are not alright and you are telling me you are fine. It seems you don't want to talk to me. Okay? I'm moving. I'm sorry for making you angry. It's just that I don't know how to tell you this. How to tell me what? My father has been posted to Enugu and all of us will be going together. He even scolded me for telling him to allow me to stay in Porta Court with my aunt to finish my remaining terms. So Sandra, this is how you want to leave me for another boy? Mom, we don't talk like that. I will not leave you for anybody. Mom, please, don't feel bad. Please. Why will I not feel bad? You know every breath without you is totally meaningless to me. I, I, I will be see. I, I will be coming to port from time to time to see you. My mother has promised me that. Why will I not feel bad when the only thing I have in this world is being taken away from me? I will be. Nobody is taking me away from me. Like this, how could you go to the extent of taking a blood oath? Eh? Don't you know the implications? Ah! Oh, goodness, mom, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I did it out of ignorance. Don't even give me that crap. What do you know about love? 
What do you know about blood oaths? Did you not think about the implication before getting into it? What do you think your father will say if he gets to know about it, Sandra? What do you think your father Sister, will do? Please, there is no point blaming her. The Lord will take place when we pray. Man of God, please, what do I do? Where is the boy in question? I don't know. I don't even know who the boy is. I don't know where he, where he stays. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. But answer him. Answer. A man of God, I don't know. The last time I saw him was when we were still in secondary school. All of a sudden, my father was transferred back to Enugu. So I left Portacourt. I don't know anything about him. I don't know if he's still... I don't know. I don't know. No, Baba. She doesn't know where he is. Oh. It's okay. Um, I would have loved to see him. But uh, I believe uh, distance is never a barrier. The Lord will intervene when we pray. But the boy in question is your husband. Again. What you heard is what I said. They are destined to marry. Oh of God. How is that possible? With God, all things are possible, but not with men. The Lord will link two of you together. There's no point crying. Let us pray. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, Baba. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we, we are, are saying, saying thank you, Jesus, Baba. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Matatoko suka baka dere gaba, libra gaba suka ba, leka tu gaze, ibra do suka ba ya, lika ba ba ba, esa ka ba, madege bo shaka da kanyo puya mata na brit begin to appreciate God, lika soko ba ya gada, le saka da, emakoto riba saka da. Lebra koto shadaya, bring it into reality. Isa bali katu zada, emande lebo sukaba. Sandra, so you could go to the extent of taking a blood coat. How could you do a thing like that? Don't you know the implication of such? And Sandra. Anyway, thank God you paid dearly for it. But thank your star, you did not pay with your life. Honestly, I really do not know why she should indulge in such art. Eh? If rock God. Anyway, that man of God has prayed for her. He said um, Sandra will meet with the boy. That uh, God has made them man and wife. Mm. That's all right. Let's let's wait and see how it will happen. It will happen. Dad, I'm very sorry about what I did. I didn't know that blood bond can have such great detrimental effect. I was only trying to protect the love I have for Amobi. I didn't know it would turn out like this. I'm sorry. Mom. You, you, you're, you're trying to protect the, the love you have for Amobi. We sent you to school. You went there to, 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 to do love. Eh? Whoever taught you about oath taking? What do you know about oath taking? Eh? If, if I hit you now, they, they, they will say I've started. I love Amobi. But Sandra, how could you take such risk with your life? Eh? It shows you are just still a kid. Blood oat is risky. That is love. It's love. 
you love Bulo Mugi. Whoever taught you that? Who told you about blood or oath? Who taught you that? My secret, what a mystery. Whatever you do, whatever you do, will come back to you. Blood bond, it really has a very high spiritual effect, Sandra. Don't you know that? You really went too far, my dear. Would you? I did it out of ignorance. I was so in love with him that I just needed something to do to secure my man. Because I can't bear it if someone else take him away from me. My dear, no level of love will ever make me to enter into a covenant with a guy. Huh. Though, my parents do educate me on the dangers of entering into a covenant. So I don't even try that shit, man. Have you ever fallen in love before? I have. But that is not the right thing to do. You haven't. If you have fallen in love deeply with any man, you will understand better. But I thank God, at least for sparing my life. I was the cause of my predicament. Can you believe that? My dear, a lot of people have been suffering just because they entered into a covenant, knowingly or unknowingly. Unfortunately, I am one of them. So, who knows the fate of the guy that established this covenant with you? Is he still alive? So said the prophet. He is very much alive. And that very soon we will meet each other. And that we are destined to marry. That's the interesting part. Hmm. That man of God must be very powerful to have discovered this top secret, my dear. The spirit of the prophet is with the prophet. Are you crazy? No, I should be asking you that. That question actually belongs to you. Where are your eyes? No, you are a mad You are mad. You are the one you who is mad. You'll be walking on a busy road like this and you will never... Okay, so you know it's a busy road. That means you, you are the one who should watch it. Is this what they taught you in driving school? You are mad. You are a mad woman. You should thank your God. You are the one who actually would die. Thank your God that nothing happened to me. Today you would have regretted driving in your life. Son of a bitch. When you... I see. Long time. I have we met? Oh, I know you must have forgotten. I am the guy that bumped into you the other day at the supermarket. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now I remember you. How you doing? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. How did you see me? Well, I was driving by, so I saw you and decided to stop. Really? <laughs> so am I to say that you have a very strong visual cycle? It's a very strong one. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you off to? to Obui Road. Obui Road. That's not my route, but I could drop you off. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want to stress you. I will just pick up a taxi. No, 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 no. It's okay. Are you sure? Come on, let me drop you off. <laughs> Thank you. What are friends? I secret. What a mystery. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. We'll come back to you. So, why did you refuse to tell me your name that day at the supermarket? I'm sorry, but I don't tell strangers my name. Um, is that a principle? 
whatever. But I told you mine. That's your choice. Okay. I know what I will call you henceforth since you don't want to tell me your name. What's that? Ghost. <laughs> yes. Please. I'm human. I'm not a ghost. Okay? That I didn't tell you my name. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry. I'll tell you. But not now. Okay. But will you marry me? <laughs> What's funny? Excuse me. What did you say? Will you marry me? It's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, hold on. We just met, yeah? This is the second time I'm seeing you in my entire life. I don't know anything about you. And you're asking me to, to propose it? Listen, it doesn't matter. Look, my father met my mom just the way we met. He proposed, he walked out, and today they made the best couple. Maybe it's their destiny. Some people are destined to meet for, for the first time and they fall in love. Please, just take it easy. Let's get to know each other. Let me get to know you before you can talk about marriage. See, listen, I, I believe we can make the best couple. You see, my mom is on my neck to get married. What is it about men and their mom? forcing them to settle down. Is that a norm? Maybe I will attribute it to nature. So please, I, will you marry me? Hold on. This whole thing is moving too fast, okay? Let me just... Let me think about it, okay? Please. Okay. I see. Yes, Dad. You called us for a meeting. Hope we are safe. Yes, Daddy. There is no problem. So, what is the matter? It's about a young man I met yesterday on my way to the supermarket. Yes. So he picked me up and dropped me off to my destination. And he told me he would love to marry me. Marry you? Just like that? Yes. Eh? But I thought you people told me that a prophet said a boy will come and that you will know the boy when he comes. So, what about this man now? Dad, I don't know. Right now I'm a little bit confused, but let's just wait and see how everything plays out. Sandra! Sandra, you better be careful, oh. Okay, well, I that you are, you are very careful with your life. You know what you went through. You know the kind of heartbreak and emotional trauma you went through. Be careful, oh. Be careful with yourself. It's okay now. It's okay. Yeah. Don't remind me of my past predicament. Um, Sandra, we suffered so much the last time. And I wouldn't like, like a repeat this time around. Dad, I've heard you. And there's no cause for alarm. Because I've not said yes to his proposal. I only told him I want to think about it. And that's why I'm telling you both. Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, you better be careful, though. You know what you went through with your past uh, suitors. Give it a thought. And again, don't... Forget what the prophet said. Don't forget. You know, I know? Yes, ma. Thank you. That's what I said I want to tell you about. Let me go back inside and finish what I'm doing. Better. We've heard you. Come back to you. No matter how long it takes. I'm afraid she might end up like others. Um, I will take you to a certain heaven, it's a to word, to know if you can be of help. Habalist, that's native doctor. Yes. God forbid. Ubinna! Wait, 
Have you started patronizing native doctors? No. But I told the relation about your deal. He said I should bring you so he'll take you there. And his suggestions was going to a native doctor. Ah, Obina, I will never visit a native doctor nor patronize them. So if you are doing that, you better stop. So don't even think about it. It is not an option. Uh -uh. Okay. Alright. Native doctor. Obina, native doctor. Obina, native doctor. Here we are. You're welcome to my house. <laughs> wow. Oh, your home is beautiful. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. <sighs> so, what do I offer you? What do you want to offer me? I have everything you may need. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine. You're fine, you don't want to accept anything from me? No, don't say that. Okay, fine. If I need something, I'll let you know. But for now, I'm okay. Thanks. Are you on fast? Oh. Why do you always want to say something to make me laugh? <laughs> okay, if you say so, you're welcome to my home once again, my ghost friend. Ghost again? Yes. <laughs> you never told me your name. I'm not a ghost. How can you call me a ghost? I, Sandra Ibono, a ghost? God forbid. Mm, you finally decided to speak. Sandra Ibono. Yeah, that's my son name. That name. That name. Never mind. My friend, my secondary school lover, bears that name, Sandra Ebono. You always talk about this your secondary school lover. I think you both of you are well connected. Yes, because <laughs> you see back then in um, in the secondary school in Patakot precisely, um, Rumokuroshi Secondary, Community Secondary School. I, I, I was so much deeply in love with Sandra and uh, it all stopped when her father was transferred, you know. I, I, I can just, can, I just wish I could what? find her. Hold on. Did you just say Rumokuroshi Community Secondary School? Potakot? That's where... This school or not, I shall not get married to any other woman except you. And if I do, let misfortune be my companion, and only death could separate us from each other. As I eat this school or not, I shall not marry any man except you. If I do, let misfortune be my companion, and only death can separate us. Happy now. I say grace. What a mystery. What a mystery. Whatever you do. Sandra, are you okay? I'm fine. Since when do we start lying to each other? Your facial expression and your mood is clearly showing that you are not alright. And you are telling me you are fine. It seems you don't want to talk to me. Okay? I'm Obi. I'm sorry for making you angry. It's just that I don't know how to tell you this. How to tell me what? My father has been posted to Enugu and all of us will be going together. He even scolded me for telling him to allow me to stay in Port Court with my auntie to finish my remaining terms. So Sandra, this is how you want to leave me for another boy? No, we don't talk like that. I will not leave you for anybody. Oh, please, don't feel bad. Please. Why would I not feel bad? You know every breath without you is totally meaningless to me. 
I, I will be see. I, I will be coming to port from time to time to see you. My mother has promised me that. Why will I not feel bad when the only thing I have in this world is being taken away from me? Amobi, nobody is taking me away from you. Amobi, please. I'm dreaming. I just don't want to wake up from this dream. This lovely dream. Please don't say that. Because you have no idea how much I've missed you. I've, I've always... I've always wished for you. I can... I've always wanted to contact you. I've always wanted to find you. But, uh, you know, we, we, we never had cell phones then and how you people moved and everything. Baby. Yes. There is nothing we could do. I just... someone while I was shopping. She was my secondary school love. We, we were so much in love with each other. And when we finished secondary school, they relocated and we lost contact. But something happened between us. We took an oath. What type of oath? You mean, you know, children, that kind of thing, what they do as children? Mama, no, they, they're promising um, promises and keeping promises. It was. A blood covenant. Blood. Yes, and um, I think it's still in existence still today. My God. Mobi, what have you done? How could you? How did you get yourself involved in this? You are the cause of all your misfortune. Everything that has been happening to you. advised you to do this how did how you went into this without knowing the implication children get themselves involved in what they do not know without knowing the consequences we are, we are just children in how? The, i was only but a child then mama thank god bro amobi did not die i know someone that went into a covenant like him and the boy ended up dead and the girl ran mad because the parents of the boy refused to allow them marry 
they vowed that over their dead body that the boy will not marry their daughter. Without knowing that they entered a covenant like this. Hi! And, 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 and that led to the death of the guy and the girl. The madness, yes. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Indeed, Mama. Amobi. Amobi, what have you done? What have you done? Hey! Eh? Dad, that's how I met him. Okay? I never knew that the guy I've been meeting all this while is Amobi. Hey! Eh? This is just like a dream to me. I told him the other day that if I'm dreaming, if actually this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. No! I don't want to wake up from this kind of sweet dream. I am so excited. It's as if all my pains and all my tears has suddenly been wiped out in a twinkle of an eye. No! My daughter, <laughs> I am so much delighted to hear this from your mouth. Thanks, Dad. God has really done a great work in you and in our house. Yes. <laughs> eh, so please, when is he coming to see us? Eh, what? When is he coming? Did I tell you he's coming anytime soon? Hey, he should come and see us now. Rose. What is it? Please Take it easy now. Take it easy. Eh. Okay, so you are tired of me. That's what you're saying. You just want them to come and take me away. I should leave your house. I'm not just seeing you away, but you know that. Nah. See you. <laughs> what you see you get away? <laughs> How can I just my own daughter away? Oh! I'm happy. So much happy for you. Eh? He will come. He will come very soon. Okay. Great. Let's be waiting. At least, I'm happy. That means that thing that that prophet said has happened. Exactly the way he said it. Oh! He's really a man of God. God, I thank you. I thank you, God. Thank you for everything. Uju, this world is indeed deeper than we can ever imagine. For sure. I never knew that the guy I've been meeting is the same guy I gave my virginity to years back. Are you serious? I finally met Amobi. Wow, this is really miraculous, my dear. Indeed. Huh. I never knew that the guy I've been looking for has been around me. Yet, I was busy chasing shadows. Do you know what? Amobi told me that he suffered the same fate, just like I did. He said that three women he got married to died because of the blood oath we took. Oh my god, this is just to tell you how potent blood oath could be. It's extremely dangerous and powerful. So now tell me, when is he coming to see your people? Why are you so? Let me know now. <laughs> <laughs> Gradually, I'm sure he's, he's warming up to it. Wow, my dear, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Well, yeah. Life is not fair. Sometimes it's a share. Where do I go from here? What? <laughs> you just can get tired of touching him. My prince. <laughs> what a time to be alive and see all this come to pass. My darling, I really don't know what excites me the more. Is it the fact that I will soon be a mother? Or the fact that I will soon be your child? Or that I wake up every morning and I call you my beloved husband? <laughs> I don't know which one is the blessing. I am the happiest man on earth. I thought all this will never come to an end. But today, we are here. We're here. <laughs> we will do our best to make sure that our children doesn't tread the path we treaded ignorantly. Yes, we loved each other genuinely. 
but uh, taking that oath was something that could have taken your life or I. You're right. We'll do our best to guide them. Surely, we will. In the way they should grow. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Come here. No, that thank you should be for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll soon be a mother. Ah, my son is kicking. <laughs> I can see him. Look at his legs. <laughs> oh, son, please. My oh, queen. my. I see. 